Okay, let's take a very quick look at the concept of polyrhythms because it's a very quick way of taking a standard loop that you've got and making it interact differently with the rest of your project. So at the moment, our loop is playing over 4-4. Four, four. Let me just stretch this out. So we've got four beats to the bar and the percussion loop is looping over exactly that time signature. So as a reminder, it sounds like this. But we can very easily change that and have it loop over a different time signature so that it interacts with the rest of our beats very differently. Now the way to do that is just to come into the clip box here and change the time signature. So I'm going to go for three, four. And I zoom out. And in fact, as I do it, as I just change this, keep your eye on the grid above the audio loop. You can see the numbers changing. You'll notice the audio is not changing at all. So as it stands, if I play this back, it will sound exactly the same. You can see it doesn't look right. Before it was looping over a very clear two bars, but now it seems to be at 3.23 or whatever that might be at the end, 3.33. So what I want to do is bring it back to looping over two bars, but two bars at a time signature of 3-4, three, 3-4 four. Three, four being three beats in the bar. Let's have a listen. In fact, let's take that back to just one bar. I think it'll sound better. So we'll do a few of these. Let's uh, stick with our normal trick. This one's 4-4, four, four, so I simply change the side time signature and I'll move it so that we're looping over one bar. Let's do this third one. Let's try this one out in 5-4. So again, change the time signature and just change your loop brace. That's all you need to do with this. Let's have a listen. Normal. In fact, I'll name these so it's a little bit easier to see. Let's zoom in so we can have a listen. You can hear we're getting some really cool rhythms out of it, some really interesting stuff going on there. Now, just one thing to note with this when you take it over into the arrange page, like so, let's just make sure this is playing back from the arrange. You want to slip edit it out for the length of time that you want it to be looping over, in this case, the time signature of 3 4. So, my grid here is 4 4, and I want this to snap back round to the beginning of this loop every four bars. That's how I've got this set up. So it won't carry on drifting endlessly out of time. So you can hear you get that little kind of stutter at the end. I could do it this way. I could set it up to loop there and then duplicate it. So now it's looping over two bars, but the time signature is still three, four. So again, super quick way of reinventing your loops and a great fun way of uh, playing with the various rhythms that are available to you.